Hello, I'm David Azer, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. Today, we start with Ad Age's Trademark Watch. The Trademark Office in Washington offers a curious advanced peek at marketers' future product and promotional intentions. And the Philadelphia law firm Deckert has just released a study of recent trademark trends. It details how marketers' filings for green brand names set a new annual record. They seemingly applied for every imaginable configuration that included the words green, eco, or clean. In fact, more than 2,400 applications alone included green. With a bit of his tongue in his cheek, report author Glenn Gunderson noted that if all the new eco-branded products filed for in 2007 actually came to market, an eco-citizen could buy an eco-house in an eco-town from an eco-realtor. Interest in the word organic was also at an all-time high, with filings using that word increasing 57% over the previous year. Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome to the Degree Girl Loft. And now a look at deodorants, teen pop stars, and the record business. Joining the rush to intertwine those three in co-marketing deals, Unilever has signed actress and singer Ashley Tisdale. She'll hawk Degree Girl deodorant through a multi-pronged branded entertainment campaign. As a follow-up to her acclaimed album Headstrong, Ms. Tisdale is recording four new songs exclusively for Unilever. The music covers 1980s bubblegum pop hits such as Belinda Carlisle's Heaven is a Place on Earth. And it will be downloadable for free from the DegreeGirl.com website. That site has already been turned into a digital playground of features promoting Miss Tisdale and her music. Along with a song samples page, it includes a video blog, a contest whose winner will get to meet the singer in person, and of course, colorful hype for four different Unilever body odor solutions. Over in the African American market, two-time Warner divisions are teaming up to aggressively expand the web and TV video presence of Essence Magazine. The Time Incorporated publication has a paid circulation of 1.1 million, but Time Warner is eyeing the 20 million African Americans who are now regular internet users. Warner's Telepictures, which produces the buzzy gossip site and TV show TMZ, will be developing the new material. It includes potential Essence video series for digital platforms and TV. Michelle Ebanks, president of Essence Communications, said the magazine's advertisers are the driving force behind the move. Marketers like P&G, L'Oreal, and General Motors are asking for more African-American video content to advertise around. As part of the plan, Essence.com is also being redesigned and will relaunch in late summer. And that's it for this 3-Minute Ad Age. Thanks for being with us. I'm David Azer at Advertising Age in New York.